We're going to talk about nasoesophageal, nasogastric, esophagostomy, percutaneous gastrostomy, and jejunostomy feeding tubes. And I think the feeding tube is indicated in any patient that's been anorexic or hyporexic. And so if they even have a decreased appetite, there's only been eating half of their caloric requirements, and it's resulted in weight loss. In patients with severe facial trauma or oral pharyngeal masses, for example, you see animals come in with these squamous cell carcinomas, like here, under the tongue, severe puncture wounds. This cat also has pretty terrible dental disease, um, looking at its maxillary um, molars here. Um, if they have mucositis, if you have a patient that is undergoing radiation therapy, for example, for something in their mouth or in their head, um, they may not want to eat. But if they have oral ulcers from severe Khaleesi virus or getting into a toxin um, like potpourri or some type of caustic chemical, those are all indications to be proactive in placing a feeding tube pretty quickly.